Have you ever wondered who I am? I'm not. I mean, I'm somebody that's like something that's really far out there. I mean, it's like when you watch sports and they pour the orange drink all over the old guy when the team wins. I mean, that's what I'm a fan of. Only, only it's a little bit different. So like, yeah, the really important thing is to make sure everything's clear. That's what my dad says, make it clear. I mean, it's me, him, and this other guy who no one really understands because he like doesn't speak or do anything. And I'm like, we're all supposed to be equal to three of us. And I'm like, dad, that's not fair. And he's like, I don't make the rules. And I'm like, yes, you do. things are always really cool but like sometimes they're not really cool and you want to get really mad man but hey man don't get mad and don't get even get mellow man because that's like a longer way of getting even man and it's just not cool when people are not cool and then you gotta be like hey bro man that's not cool and that's just the way things are man you know that's just the way they are So there's this guy, and he's walking, right? And I'm like, that's really weird. Who the hell walks? And it's like he gets hurt. And all these people are looking at him like, oh, I'm late for my enema. And I'm like, that's such a bummer. Anyways, this guy stops and helps him, even though he doesn't have health insurance. And I'm like, that's so cool, man. So yeah, there's this kid I know, yeah, and he's really upset because of his brother. I mean, his brother goes to school out of state or something, and he never comes back home for the holidays, always wasting his dad's money on parties and cake stands and stuff. Anyways, he comes back home, and his dad lets him drive his new car, but not my friend. And my friend's like, lame, and the dad's like, not lame. And that's just the way it is, man. Can you imagine? I mean, can you just imagine what it would be like if everyone was just cool and all the lame people were just not lame? I mean, but even if they were, I'd be like, hey, it's cool, you're lame, I'm cool with that. I'm just here to try to say not to be lame, but even if you are, it's all good. Like, I used to be a mad sick skater and biker and stuff, and then check this out. I kind of grew up a bit, and I'm not anymore, and that's just how it is. I put away the stuff when I was a kid, but well, now I'm not so much, apart from action figures, because they're still cool, and that's cool. Like, I spoke to my dad, and he used to be a real mean guy. I mean, like, he used to be a dick, especially the juice. It's not that he doesn't like Jews. I mean, he loves Jews. I mean, he might even be Jewish himself. And then I came along and everything was cool. I mean, that's what I really love about him. I mean, he's got this really rad beard like an old hipster dude, man. Hey, what's going on, brother? So like, you know, when you want to get baked and you're all stressed because you don't have anything to smoke, well, don't get stressed about that crap, man. Life is too short. And if you want to get baked, do so, but not too much. I love chill people. I mean, I love people that aren't very confident about themselves. You know, people that do really interesting stuff, not to be a dick, but because it's cool, man. I mean, I really don't like people that do stuff to call themselves really cool all the time, like posers and people who show off about yoga. Hey, bros, what's up? I mean, who's it hanging? Oh, I don't mean that, I mean, how's it hanging, man? Oh, bless you all. Bless you. Oh, I'd love a latte. Oh, maybe I'll make some out of water or something, or, or some sushi, or some herby focaccia. Oh, man, it's totally rad, man. It's totally rad.
So, like, man, I know it's rough out there, man, but you gotta have faith, man. All right? It's everything's gonna be okay. Like the therapist above says, man, it's gonna be okay. All right? And you gotta chill the hell out, man. All right? Otherwise, it's not gonna be too good. You gotta enjoy life. All right? Because the alternative is not so good. Not so good, man. So, like, the alternative to life, man, is death. And the interesting thing is that, well, life is cool, but so is death, man. I mean, life is like a crazy mind fuck. And then death, well, I mean, that's like a crazy mind fuck too, man. It's outrageous. Praise, oh, man, it's so rad. So, man, I mean, I was sent here to clear things up. And it's not that people don't understand, it's just that people don't understand. I mean, like, hey, you know, you gotta do the right things, not the lame things. It's like when you get 10 coffees, okay? And then you get the stickers that say you get a totally free one, man. I mean, that's outrageous. Ugh. Here's something interesting. Try not to be such a buzzkill. For example, when your mom calls and she really ruins the buzz and you're all up there on the high astral plane with the big guy himself and she's like, do your washing. And you're like, but how come we live with a guy that's not even my dad? And she's like, you're special. And I'm like, cool. Have you ever wondered who I am? I'm not. I mean, I'm somebody that's like something that's really far out there. I mean, it's like when you watch sports and they pour the orange drink all over the old guy when the team wins. I mean, that's what I'm a fan of. Only, only it's a little bit different. So like, yeah, the really important thing is to make sure everything's clear. That's what my dad says. Make it clear. I mean, it's me, him, and this other guy who no one really understands because he, like, doesn't speak or do anything. And I'm like, we're all supposed to be equal, the three of us. And I'm like, Dad, that's not fair. And he's like, I don't make the rules. And I'm like, yes, you do.